I'm Vicki Jones with VMH Magazine. I have the honor of learning something about baseball from a coach at Grambling State. Can you give us your name? Uh, Perez Knowles. I'm the assistant baseball coach at Grambling State University. I am in charge of pitching. Okay. And so the thing that I find interesting is I just have to say that I am in New Orleans, uh, Louisiana for the HBCU Legacy Bowl and ran into this coach. Um, as you can see there, there's the baseball there. But I think I found it unique um, because of so many color barriers, and you can inform us if you if you'd like, that were broken by greats like Jackie Robinson, who you know saw the movie. Can you give us a little bit about baseball when it comes to African American history and how it has impacted the game today? Uh, I think it's been huge, you know, for getting you know, younger kids to get into the game today. Um, I mean, I probably wouldn't be in the situation if it wasn't for the people that came before me. So. Um, you know, Andre Dawson, who, who's been playing in the tournament for, um, who's putting on this tournament, MLB and stuff, he went, played at Fam, FAMU, who's also in the tournament as well. So, you know, having those kind of connections, I think is big for the game, especially for younger players. Okay, and can you share with us your name and again, your position in um, the So my name is Perez Knowles. I'm the assistant baseball coach at Grambling State University, and uh, I'm in charge of the pitching. In charge of the pitching. Okay, great. And so um, the coach that you were referring to, he went to FAMU. Can you give us a little bit about him? Uh, what, uh, what so he was a player. Um, Andre Dawson, he was an outfielder. He's all, I think he's a Hall of Famer, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, you know, I think there's been, I mean, great, you know, Grambling coach. His he's, name again? I'm sorry. Uh, coach Wilbert Ellis. Okay. He started the Grambling baseball uh, He was one of the second coaches, I think, in the Grambling baseball program. And he was one of the one of the most successful with you and thank you for speaking with me i appreciate it i think the reason why i wanted to speak with you primarily is because most student athletes um the number one at least from my understanding the number one professional uh, game that they lean towards is a uh, football but baseball um also is opportunity right. based on what i'm seeing and what you're saying what you're sharing with us you know, can you elaborate um uh, baseball's been one of those sports for me especially um being from the bahamas and um knowing that there's also a lot of doors in baseball, not only playing, but um, you know, going through the sports journalism or the statistical at, uh, analytics, uh, coaching, scouting. Uh, there's so many different avenues you can take, not only with baseball, but other, also other sports. Um, I think you know, baseball is one of those sports where you have to get used to doing the mundane things when it comes to just baseball itself. But I think that's where the beauty of it comes in because we get to play so many games and you get all that repetition to get better at it and stuff like that. Because we still have some of the best athletes in the world playing baseball that also play football, basketball, that kind of thing. So, And I um, think of Deion Sanders. I think he kind of stands out very strongly right. because of some of the stat statistics that happen um, pretty much around the same time, same day, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. I don't have that at the top yeah, of my played, head. played a baseball game, football game, same day, like stuff like that. So. That is amazing. Okay. Well, anything that you'd like to say in terms of a little bit of inspiration for student athletes when it comes to choosing sports? Because I did hear you uh, speak about it's not just even uh, or just uh, playing the game. There are other things around it that could be great career moves. So any inspirational words that you'd like to shed share with any student athlete as far as that concerned? Um, I think... Just explore every avenue that comes to mind or that you even don't know. Um, always be willing to learn, and I think that's going to help you in the long run because you every day you'll find out something that you didn't know the day before, and that can take everything else a long way. One more thing. The tournament, you're here for that in Louisiana. How is that going? Uh, we haven't started playing yet, but we play tonight on MLB Network, actually, against Alabama State at 7 o'clock Central. So. If you can tune in, tune in. It'll be a good game for sure. Okay, and then and the name of the team one more time. I'm uh, sorry. Grambling State University, and we play against Alabama State University tonight. So. Thank you so much once again. No problem.